Hello, hi everybody. It's Colleen with Chalk Couture. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you're all having a fantastic evening so far. We're, it's a dreary Tuesday night here in Jersey. It has been raining all day. But I guess it could be worse. It could be snow, which I know a lot of you guys are getting right now. So we're pretty lucky in that it's only been rain. Let's go ahead and get this shared. And then, where are we? Here we go. Okay. So we are going to do an Easter project tonight. And you may notice that I have my Grayson chalkboard and rustic wreath. And you can see that it doesn't quite fit on here. But I'm going to use it anyway because I kind of have something sort of kind of laid out in my head of what I'm going to work on tonight. It is going to be an Easter project. Um, so I figured I would use my rustic wreath and I'm going to use actually a couple different transfers that um, rustic wreath is still available in our new uh, spring summer 2019 catalog. Uh, the other ones however for Easter are not available so I figured at least I get one in there <laughs> that's available on our store. So what I wanted to do was come in here, I'm going to do um, the wreath in a pop of color. So I'm going to use our wild berry, which is awesome. So pretty. And then we're going to kind of wing it a little bit, I think. Like I said, I have some general ideas, but we're just going to kind of play and see what comes doing a little creating tonight. So I'm just giving my chalk paste a nice good stir. We're looking for that yogurt like and it's still a little thick so I'm just going to add just a little bit of water. And as we always do, I, when I peeled my transfer off, the back of the transfer is labeled back so that when we are done and we are cleaning our transfer, we know which side to return it to. So just getting that nice stirred very nicely. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw my little stirry stick over here into my pan of water. So let's grab a squeegee. You don't really need a big one for this because we're only going to worry about the silk screen areas. So we'll make quick work of this. I am putting a rather, you know, generous amount on here and I'm just going to kind of pull it. Look how easy it just kind of goes right around. Before I came live, I did make sure that I wasn't feeling any bubbles. Like I said, I know that this is not going to reach the bottom because my um, Grayson board is a little smaller than the chalkboard surface itself, which I'm fine with because I kind of, like I said, have sort of an idea of what I want to do. So we're just making a nice thin layer right across, just pulling any excess that I may have right up. And then if when you apply a little pressure with your squeegee, you'll see how that just pulls the color right down. Going one more time with a little bit heavier and see how it pulls, continues to pull that chalk paste right over our silk screen. I know that traditionally wreaths are supposed to be green, but I wanted to do like a little pop of color for Easter. Okay, so since the rest goes off my board, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to get off any excess. One more time, making sure I'm trying to get all those lines out and excess right back into our jar. And then we can just pull back, applying even pressure going straight across. Oh, that looks pretty on the board. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, this is a rather large transfer, but I am gonna attempt to put it in my bucket of water. And once I get the sticky part wet, I can kind of squish it into my pan and I'm not worried about it sticking together because once you get it wet, it kind of takes away the sticky for a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm doing off to the side here, just kind of getting it in my bucket. Okay. Alrighty, now let me get a towel so I can dry my hands off and we will dry our wreath on here. And then like I said, we're gonna add some, um, some Easter kind of elements to this. <clears throat> and the rustic wreath does come with additional pieces so I can make my wreath fuller by adding some little embellishments, which I may very well come back and do. But for now, let's get this. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So sorry, I hit the button on my lamp. 
Let's turn that back up. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Dry. Ooh, that really does give a wicked glare. Let's push that back a little bit. And so what I thought I would bring in for my Easter element is, of course, my favorite, which is bunnies. So I'm going to kind of put them towards the bottom of my wreath here. That's why I didn't mind that it kind of went off my board, because I want to throw some cute little bunnies in there. Let me grab that. This is the Build a Bunny Transfer. We're just going to grab a couple bunnies out of here. Sorry, that is... Very loud plastic. This one's my favorite bunny. And then that is bunny number three. So I'm looking for the top. See how it's labeled three and three. So I know that that's the top layer for my bunny. I may try to get another bunny in here if I can. I should be able to get both of these cute little guys in here. Like down here. So that's layer three. Now I need layer one, which is labeled one right here in the corner. So that's my top layers. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is, a little balloon. Oh, I love it. So many cute pieces in here. Or, okay, so we gotta figure out what I wanna do. Do I wanna do the two little bunnies or do I wanna do the bucket? I think I'm gonna leave it at the two little bunnies. Alright, so I have my white ready to go for my bunnies. I think I'm actually going to, I thought I saw my storm gray here. Let's see if I've got enough. I can do a gray bunny and a white bunny. I might be able to squeak just enough out to do both. So let's do that. Okay, I'm going to slide the top layers right up to the top here. And then we'll work with bunny number one him on and he's um, I have used him quite a few times so I did not um, fuzz him before I'm putting him on I'm gonna take him right down to the bottom here making sure I'm not feeling any bubbles and I do see a bubble so I want to just pick that up and lay that back down again making sure there's no bubbles there okay I feel like we're pretty good let's check our chalk paste again just to make sure that our white is that nice yogurt like consistency and then we'll grab another squeegee and we'll make quick work of chalking our little bunny okay so again only worrying about the silk screen parts you don't need to worry about the teal section of your transfer so we'll take that right across to get his little feet and then right up to get all that excess back into my jar. And that is it. That is all there is to it. Once I apply a little pressure, I can get even more of that chalk paste off and back in. Okay. Oh, I missed the very tip of his ear. Let me just grab that real quick. Okay, I think we got them all covered now. I'm just going to peel that back. Look at our cute little bunny. Alrighty. And then we'll dry him off real quick. And then we can go to our next bunny. Now you can let this dry on its own and it would probably dry in about about four minutes or so. I'm just speeding up the process with my um, heat tool or hair dryer works perfectly fine too. So let's grab our little bunny who's sitting down next to him. We'll put him right here. I've never done a gray bunny, so we're gonna do a gray bunny tonight. Making sure I'm not feeling any bubbles. Just pull that down a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I'm at the bottom of my gray, which is called Storm. I'm just calling it gray. I'm going to get just a little bit of water in there. I'm going to eke just enough out of here to get my bunny finished. So 
So I'm just stirring that up. I'm really at the bottom of this one. I think I just got a new one in, so that's perfect timing. Okay, I'm just going to use my little stirry stick and just plop down some gray on here. And then we'll grab another squeegee. And then we'll get him covered too. There we go. Oh, quick and easy. And I hope that wasn't a bubble, but it looks like it was. Okay, just going back over again just to get all that excess chalk paste back off to get that nice thin layer on there. Scoop in the bottom and that goes right back into the jar. Let's see how our gray bunny's making out. <gasps> oh my goodness, he's so cute. He's so cute. Hello, Meg. Hello, Tia. Good evening. That was quick. That tried super quick. All right, so let's get our um, our cherry blossom so that we can do the top layers for our bun buns here. Um, how are you ladies doing this evening? Hope you're having a good Tuesday night so far. So now I just want to, I'm waiting for the board to um, cool back off because it's a little warm. And I just want to make sure, because if you're putting chalk paste on a warm surface, it's going to dry the chalk paste really quickly. So remember how I mentioned that this guy was labeled one, and it's labeled one down here, and this guy's labeled three. So you should be able to just match them right up. You can just use their ears kind of as the guide here. I think I'm off a little bit. It might be tilted. Let's that could be why. There we go. I think I'm on there. Just make sure his little cheeks are on there, right? Okay, they look pretty good. Oops, that one's a little too close to the eye. Let me let me redo that. I might have this tilted just a little bit. Let's try that again. Alright, I think I, that this no, that's way too crooked. I feel like that's a little bit better. Let's see. I can see his eyes underneath. I feel like I'm better there. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Oh, no we can't. We gotta do this one first, sorry. I just realized that one's over top of his ear and I need, and I need that for the gray bunny. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of this color. Oh, I just dropped the chalk boogie right on his paw. Let's get rid of that. Got just a little bit. of our cherry blossom so that I can do his little cheeks and his little ears and we can just use a tiny little squeegee for this or you could use the, the multi-tool which is perfect for this as well let's get his little cheeks his little bunny ears and then we do a nice thin layer see how it made it nice thin layer on there that's perfect excess right back in now we can pull. Look how cute! Oh my gosh, so adorable. I have not tried the shimmer paste yet, Tia. I do not have the shimmer paste yet. Um, and actually I didn't order it. I did an order on launch day. But I did not grab the shimmer paste. I know, I'm sad. will definitely be one of my top priorities in my next order for sure because I've seen a couple projects with it and it looks gorgeous the shimmer paste for you guys is just like our shimmer ink so it's like our gold ink and um, uh, silver and copper and now we have it in chalk paste too it looks amazing oh it is amazing Tia so you've used it that's awesome I cannot wait cannot 
week, but yeah, I did see a project that someone did today with it and it looked really pretty. Okay, nice thin layer on our bunnies. Now remember too, when you're layering, you don't want to put as much pressure. Like I was really putting a lot of pressure to get all that excess chalk paste back off for my, um, for my wreath. But when you're doing the layering, you want to just be sure that you're not putting too much pressure on there to get that chalk paste off. And um, just kind of, you you kind of get to the feel of it, like what's the right amount of pressure. The reason that I say that is because you don't want to, look what I just did. I did not, okay. You know what I didn't do? I needed to add water. Yep, I needed to add water to my, okay, so you know what we're gonna do? Because it came out very light and I realized that my chalk paste is too thick. It was not getting through the silk screen. So I'm actually gonna clean this one off real quick and let this dry and then I'm gonna just reapply it. So I'm just cleaning it off and I wanna put it on my towel off to the side here so that I can put this back down again and then add some water to my chalk paste. So if that happens to you where the chalk paste does look like it didn't come through, there's two reasons that that could happen. One is the reason that I just did where my chalk paste was too thick I need it to thin it out a little bit with some water and or the second would be that you that the chalk paste started to dry on your transfer uh, maybe if it was a bigger piece and you were like saying going around the rustic wreath and this part came out a little thinner or a little lighter than this side it meant that your chalk paste started to dry and so when you pulled off your silk screen um, your chalk paste came with it so there's two things to, to watch for. So I'm kind of glad that happened just now. I am adding a little bit of water to my cherry blossom so that hopefully that will not happen again. I think that my board was not still um, hot, so it shouldn't have been that. And that is the third reason. If your chalkboard's really hot, it will dry out your chalk paste. So hello, Jessica. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So let's move right along. I think that once we fix my little bunny, oh man, I was way off. Look what happened. Ah, wait, did I use the wrong? No, I didn't. I didn't use the wrong thing. I think I didn't have it on there, right? Darn it. All right, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start again. I just realized I didn't have him on there right. My top layer, what a goofball. All right, so I'm just wetting a paper towel. I'm gonna erase my little gray bunny. We gotta do him again. Cause that top layer was clearly not right. He can't have his little pink cheeks up in his eyeballs. That's not gonna work. I think, uh, Jess, if you saw it close up, you would see that he would look like a bunny possessed because the pink eyeball was clearly not in the right spot. I goofed. The white one, I love. You know me and my bunnies. I love the white bunny. All right. I'm just trying to be careful over so I don't hit the white guy here because his ear's a little close. So I'm just going to take my time. Get that gray off of there with my paper towel. There we go. And then down here at the bottom. So I need to grab my bunny out of the water and let that clean that off and let that dry so we can reapply him as well. But in the meanwhile, now I have to decide, and I'm terrible with decisions, because I kind of pulled the balloon out and I thought, oh my gosh, that looks so cute. I was originally thinking of putting hippity hoppity up in here on the top, but then I saw the balloon, but then I'm thinking, oh, a balloon inside a wreath, does that logically make sense? I don't know, but it looked dang cute, so I don't know. Let's see. As soon as I get this cleaned up, I'm going to put both of them on there, and we'll, we'll try to figure it out together. Bye, Gray Bunny. Bye-bye. Oh, Bun Bun. My little Bun Bun, but he'll be back. He will be back, no fear. Okay. Easy peasy, came right off with water. Just stack up on your paper towels. 
and that's what you're gonna need. And then kind of once I'm not seeing any more chalk paste on my paper towel, I know that my chalk uh, chalkboard's pretty good and clear and all that good stuff. So here's our options. I was going to take hippity hoppity from that or we're going to put the balloon inside. Mm, yeah, see now I'm seeing the balloon again and I don't know if I like that in there or if I just like the hippity hoppity across the top. Maybe I could do this little guy in there. Let's see. Let's pull it out and let's see. And then we'll come back to Gray Bunny. Oh, let me, before I come back to Gray Bunny, let me get him out of the water and cleaned off and on the paper, on my towel so that he can be drying while we're moving on. And then we'll come back to him. So I've got those both pulled out of the water off to the side here. Let's see. I kind of think I'm leaning more towards the hippity happity in the center. And then, um... I really think I want to come back and add some more of the details in here and some different colors. Really make it Eastery and really make it pop. The Happy Easter is way too big. So I think we're just going to do, let me move my chalk paste. My desk all of a sudden got overrun with a plethora of chalk paste everywhere. Alright, let's slide this out of the way just because you'll see in a minute once I go to, this is going to stick. So what I might do... I might just pull, reveal enough of this just to get the hippity hoppity out of here. Oop, I just dropped it. Without peeling back the whole thing. So let's see. Let's see if I can make my desk work to my advantage here. Alright, so I left that on there. Now I just want to try to get this somewhat straightened. I think I might actually even do the pretty little flower across the top. Let's see. Let's see how that will look. Oh, nope, that's too high because now I'm on my wreath. So i got to bring this down a little bit. Try to get it centered. Let's see. I'm not on any pink over there. Not on any... I keep saying pink. It's wild berry, not pink. And then we've got the flower part. And I feel like we're up at the top. I wonder if I could go just a scooch higher. Let's see. I think that might be good. Let's leave it there. So let's see. Hippity hoppity. Let's do in... Um, oh, I want to do... Let me see. Do I have it? I really want to get some pretty colors in here. So I'm pretty sure I have it. I just have to find it. Oh, here it is. I found it. I want to get some purple. Some of our grape soda. This is, we're really winging it here tonight, guys. I'm just kind of going by the seat of my pants. Just trying to create something with just a little bit of vision that I had to get started. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my grape soda. It is all the way down. I'm seeing the bottom of the jar. No. Come on, grape soda. I need just a little bit just to, oh, there's a grape soda chalk boogie that we don't want on our board. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get some out of here, guys. I am not giving up. I'm going to get one more project out of this grape soda jar. All right. Whew, that is really, oh, I'm going to be sad to see this one go. I think I might have, hopefully it's not too, too thick. Hopefully I got enough out of here that I can do my hippity hoppity. And I'm just going to use my multi-tool and just kind of pull it right across since that's what I use to stir. Alright. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that because it's taking too long and I don't want this to dry on here. Alright, let me grab another quick squeegee. Okay, and we'll make quick work of this. I'm just going to pull this straight across. There we go. That's the ticket. That's what I wanted. Remember, get all that. I don't know why I'm even bothering with the excess, because I think that this jar has got to say bye-bye, just like our gray bunny did. Got to say bye. And then we're going to get... I'm going to do a quick 
little heart, hopefully. Oh, I probably should add border to this again. Quick little pink heart in the center. Okay, we are done. That's all I wanted from this transfer. So let's just pull that up. Yay! Look how cute! We'll get that dried off in a little bit. Oh, I did a little boo-boo on my O. I'll fix it. No worries. Look how pretty the colors are on here. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I forgot to do the flower on top. Ah, dang it. It's okay. We'll get her fixed. Love that grape soda. Oh my goodness gracious. That still isn't, it needs a little bit more drying time, I think. I feel like, eh, it's almost dry. Let's bring our bun bun back in. I want to get, oh, you know what? Bunny's not quite dried. Let me get a paper towel. I'm going to speed up the drying with Bunny over here. I'm just kind of putting it on my hand and kind of drying it off. I know this is probably a no-no, but I kind of speed up the time of drying the silk screen with my hand. I wouldn't suggest doing this at home. I'm just trying to speed up the drying time. There we go. I think Bunny's good. Alrighty. All right, we're gonna try numero uno dos for Gray Bunny. Okay. No bubbles. Make sure we've got no bubbles. Oh, are his feet hanging off? Oh, I think I got his feet right in there. Let's check for, I feel like there was some bubbles in there. Okay, now what we can do is we can use our squeegee just to make sure that the, oh, that's not how you do it. Let's try it the other way. Cause I'm right at the edge of my board here. And I just picked the whole thing up with my squeegee. This is gonna be like 101 things not to do when you're chalking. So I think I'm going to just get everything out of the way in one live tonight. So if we want to learn everything not to do, tonight's episode's a good one to watch, I think. Alrighty, we're going to go back with our storm and grab my squeegee. we got to put Bun Bun back on here. I really want a gray bunny. tip because the last time I almost missed the very tip of his ear too. We're just going to pull that down right to the bottom. I hope to goodness I didn't get his feet cut off there at the bottom of the board. And the very, there we go. Got all that excess back off into my jar. And then we peel and we reveal. And there's our cute bun bun back at it again. Hello, Peggy. So there's our little gray bunny. Aw, thanks, Peggy. They are stinking cute little bunnies, aren't they? I love them. So cute. I think I'm going to keep my grape soda out because I'm going to try to get some. Let's do that while we're waiting for Bunny to, to finish up. I'm going to fuzz this because I don't think I've ever used my little embellishment pieces to my rustic wreath. So I'm literally just putting the transfer sticky side down right on my pants to pick up some lint. Um, especially because this is going to be layered on top. So um, I want to make sure that I'm taking away some of the fuzz and then I'm just going to add in some cute little, maybe some purple grape soda, I should say grape soda detail, since I um, want to take advantage and get as much of my grape soda out of here as I can. So we're going to put a nice thin layer and I think it's going to look really good with the wild berry too. And I wanted it to be very springy colors in this project tonight. If I can just get enough grape soda out of here so that we can add some pretty purple details to our wreath. So if we get a nice thin layer on here, you can just pick this up 
and then continue right on along to add some more color around your wreath. So there's some a little bit of purple, grape soda. We'll do a little bit more down here. And again, if you do the nice thin layer, you can get a couple passes without having to clean this transfer. Just a little more. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love it. I think we'll do this. Since that's going that way, let's add some this way. Just like that. A little bit more grape soda. Oh, really scraping the bottom there. All right, I think I'm gonna get one more pass out of this before I have to clean it, but I've got many others. I might put a little bit of white in here too, just to add some, some different colors to this. I do have some pretty yellow. Maybe we could add some yellow to the wreath too. I wanna kinda, I was in a busy kind of mood tonight, so I was like, I wanna make this really pop, this project. So we're gonna add a lot of stuff to it, I think. Alrighty, so that should be it for our grape soda. So we got four of those in, and I'm waiting for my um, my gray to finish drying. So I'm gonna say bye-bye, grape soda. It was nice knowing you. That's gonna go in the trash till we get our next one, because that was the bottom of the barrel. But we got a few more little cute little details out of it, so I'm happy with that. So let's continue on with the top layer of the bunny. And if I remember correctly, um, I think that his, this didn't, I didn't like his eyes because I think the holes here are supposed to match his eyes and I didn't, I didn't like it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to use it. So you don't have to use all the components. So I'm just going to do his ears and his feet. I think I'm on there, right? Make sure I got his little toesies. his ears that side looks good okay so let's grab this I am gonna spritz because this was what I think was the issue I had the last time my cherry blossom was a tad dry and that's why it kind of came out a little faded so we're gonna just we added a little bit more water just get all that excess around now let's grab my little squeegee I'm just gonna get the rest of this that I had on here off of the paper towel because that's probably it's been sitting here and it might be a little dry so that's just something to keep in mind if you're working with a lot of colors I've got a lot of jars open at the moment and so my squeegee has been sitting there for a little bit so it started to dry on there so clean that off before you go to use it again and that should help now I've got to remember I'm not going to do his eyes I'm just going to do his ears hopefully I'm on there right this time and his cute little feet. Hopefully I'm not too off the mark. Good. I'm just scraping all that excess off lightly, remember, because that's our second layer. So we want to go lightly. Don't apply too much pressure. His ear is off again a little bit. But his feet are perfect. Yay! I'm going to take that as a win. We're going with it. His ear is slightly off. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a Q-tip and just wet it and then just scooch that right off of there because it that will bother me it was just slightly off of his ear there we go i got it all right bun bun you're looking much better this time but that's how easy just wash it off and start again and now we've got two perfect bunnies we've got our hippity happy I had completely forgotten to do, when I used the hippity hoppity, I forgot that I wanted to use the flower. So, and I actually, I didn't clean this yet because this I want to throw into the sink to clean because I've got so many other little pieces in my bucket over here. So I just kind of like let it hang on the carrier sheet and I'll get it to the sink. Just know that um, if you do that, if you take a little bit of time before you get it cleaned, um, it will, it, it, bleh, it most likely will stain your transfer um, because, especially because it's like a darker pigment too. 
So that's okay. If your transfer is stained, no worries. It's just that you have to make sure the silk screen area is clear. Hello, Rhonda. Okay, so because I forgot to take the flower from here, I think I may bring in a pop of green. Let's do that. Let's bring in a, a quick little pop of green, and then I think I'm gonna do a white flower in the center. So let me grab yet again another squeaky. So we're really getting a lot of colors in here tonight. We're getting our pretty awesome green. This is our um, Green Envy. I have to look, it's been a while since I've used Green Envy, I think. I use that a lot for Christmas projects. Okay, so we'll get that covered. I had a little chunk of purple on my board there. That's what that is, so no worries. And then we'll get this again. You have to work sort of quickly because we don't want it to dry. The chalk paste to dry on our transfer. I'm gonna take this right up to the line of the flower here. And then I'm gonna give that a pop of white to make that stand out in the center there. Okay, I've got about, oh my goodness, about five jars of paste open here. This is a very bright and pretty project tonight with a lot of colors. Just gonna get that little end of the flower there. Try not to hit the emerald green, but it's okay if I do. Just make sure that you don't have any emerald on your squeegee when you're taking off your excess because you don't want to accidentally put some of that emerald into your white. <gasps> that would be, oh, that would be horrible. Okay, there we go. That's what the top needed. It needed that, and darn it, I missed a little piece there, but that's all right. All righty. It's coming along. Oh, it had a bubble. Thanks, Jess. Well, my mission is almost complete with it being a very colorful project tonight because that was one of my one of my goals. So we've got some color going on in here. I'm going to grab my paper towel and just clean off the squeegee because it's getting a little dried out here. And I want to do some white flowers around the wreath now, too, to make that pop. So I'm just getting all that dried out chalk paste off of there because that was... That had been sitting for a little bit. So let's grab another piece. Oh, this one's pretty. Oh, that might be too big. Let's not, let's not do that one. Uh, put my balloon back. Let's grab one that's a little smaller. I wanna get all my carrier sheets up here and out of the way. Oh, this one might be pretty. I think that would look good with some pops of white with that one. What do we think? Or this one. This one kind of goes a little bit better. Hmm, I like this. I'm going to go with option one first. The one, first one I grabbed. Okay, so again, I'm just fuzzing it because I haven't used these pieces. So I'm fuzzing it just to um, get some lint on the back because it is going to be layered. I don't want to accidentally pick up any of my wild berry or my grape soda. So I'm just putting it sticky side down on my pants, lifting it up, putting it back down, and doing it a few times. So it just makes it just a little less sticky. <sighs> okay. So let's throw some, I'm gonna probably just do fours again. Just kind of go in the middle here. So let me grab my white. Hoping that this is gonna look okay with the white. All right, and again, I'm not pushing too hard because this is layers now, remember. But I do wanna make it thin enough so that I can just pick this up and kind of put this around in different spots. So I think I'm gonna go this way with it here. There we go. I'm gonna get it on your finger, so it's good to have a little paper towel around because it's obviously you've got chalk paste on the top, but you wanna make sure that you don't have any bubbles in there. So this does get a little messier, but the chalk paste does wash right off, so no worries. It's fun to be messy crafty. Okay. Get one more over here. And then I think 
like I'm doing all fours tonight. So let's get a little. There we go. Oh, I almost missed the whole wreath entirely on that one. And we'll just add this one like that. Okay. Yay! I love it. I think we need to keep going. What do you guys think? Keep going? Add some more? Make sure you always get that excess chalk paste back in there. I'm going to get rid of that squeegee and get rid of this one too. My little stirry stick. My pan of water is a hot mess express over here. It's got so many amazing transfers and uh, squeegees and everything else going on in there. All right, let's do, should we do one more? I was kind of thinking maybe buttermilk to add some yellow in here. But before I do that, I really want to take the time and start closing up some of these jars because they have been sitting opened for a little bit while we've been working. So let's get these guys closed up. And a good um, little hint is if you'd like to, you can spritz a little bit of water into your chalk paste before you close them all up. And then that way they are ready to rock and roll for your next project the next time you open them. So let's just, we're almost done. I just want to get, got the green closed. Now I want to just get my pink. And again, just throwing everything into the pan over here. I'm going to show you at the end how we clean our transfers and all of our accessories and how I did fit that ginormous rustic wreath into my tiny little bucket. And I'll show you how. Um, but let's do one more in our our buttermilk. Where are you buttermilk? You're over here in my thing somewhere. Here you are. Here's buttermilk. And this little baby's coming back in stock this week. I can't wait. It's beautiful, beautiful color. So let's just make sure that these white pieces are dry. Got a lot of chocolate pieces. Okay, now we'll do our last little layer of buttermilk. Sorry, I keep putting my head right in the camera. I have the camera up pretty high because this is a pretty dang big board. All right, we're fuzzing and we're fuzzing and we're fuzzing. And then now we can add that little pop of buttermilk. Let's put you right here. Get some buttermilk. I think I'm going to need to add a little bit of water to my buttermilk. It's better to be safe than sorry and just add a little bit. But remember, just add a little bit of water at a time. Because you can always add more. You can't take away once you add the water. Okay, I need to get some more multi-tools because these stirry sticks are too flimsy. Okay. There we go. Now we got it. That's looking so much better. There's that yogurt-like consistency. Let's grab one more squeegee. We used a lot of squeegees on tonight's project. I'm looking for one of my small ones. Oh, this one will have to do. Okay. All right, let's get some buttermilk action in here. And then we may be good. I don't know. Nice thin layer. There we go. We can pick that up. Oh, yeah. That's what that needed. That looks perfect. I The buttermilk did it for me. Really like it. Okay, making sure that that's got no bubbles. Oh, that really pops. The buttermilk, I really like it. And I think the green really pops too, the green envy. What the heck am I saying? All the colors pop. They just look so pretty. Very springy on this rainy, miserable Tuesday night. Oh, thanks. The bun buns are sweet, aren't they, Mary? I love bun buns. I don't say it enough, but I do love me some bun buns. Okay. We are almost at the finish line, I think. I mean, I could just keep going and going. There's so many other pieces that I could add to this. And I've got so many other colors of chalk paste that I could really just keep going and going and going. All right, 
let's do one more right here in the middle. Just making sure I've got no bubbles. Remember to keep that paper towel handy because your fingers will get messy when you're doing this picking up and putting down. Ah, darn it. I might have had a bubble on that one. Well, we'll see in a second. Let's see. Oh, no, not terrible. Not terrible at all. That won't work. All right, I really got to do some pushing down of some transfers here because this bucket, woo, it's crowded in there. All right, now I'm just putting my hands in the bucket so I can show you that, remember, I just showed you the chalk paste that I had on my hands. I literally just dunked my hands in the bucket of water and the chalk paste is gone. So no worries if you get it on your hands. It comes off super easy. All righty. What do we think? We think that the buddy project is good. <sighs> we just get some of that chalk boogies off. And then, should we keep going? Should we leave well enough alone? Do we like it? I think it looks super cute. I feel like the bunnies need something. They're looking at hippity happy, but I'm not sure what else. Like I said, there are a whole lot of other, whole lot of others. Oh, thanks, Mary. A whole lot of other little pieces that come with this rustic wreath. So, I mean, you could just keep playing. You could just add some cute little flowers. Look, they have cute little flowers. You could pop them all around. Got some leaves. And, oh, these are pretty. Got some of these guys. I have no idea what the names of flowers are. So, I'm just going to keep saying they're pretty. I don't know what they are. Um, but they would look super cute on here. I wonder if I could do that. Let me, hold on, hold the phone. What else, what other color do we have? Oh, you know what we don't have in here? Any blues. We don't have any blues. How can we not have any blues in here? Maybe we should do some pops of flowers in blue. And I do have, let's see. favorite. Where's my favorite? I have morning sky or should I do the Thai teal? Thai teal is our old color. I'm going to go with morning sky. So let's just add a few little pieces of morning sky flower pops around here. I'm going to try to get a bunch of them in here and then we'll be done because this project, holy moly. Oh, morning sky. Yikes. I think that's going to be another one that's going to have to be in the trash tonight. But it's almost gone. All right, let's see. Let me just pop this off. Put that there. Again, I have all my transfers labeled with a B for back, or you could spell out back, or you could spell out actually what it is, whatever you prefer, just so long as you're marking something on the back of it so you know that that's actually the back of your transfer. So let's just pop in a couple of these around. Again, try to get a nice thin layer, but you don't want to push too, too hard. I'm going to try to get a whole bunch of these in and watch how quick it is. Just keep going, keep going, and keep going. All the way around. Okay, put a little bit more chalk paste on here. I gotta stop buying inventory and I need to start buying some things to replace my stuff so I can have some pretty colors to go live. So now I need grape soda and now I need morning sky. Because I'm out of both of those now. Good reason to go shopping tonight. <laughs> Alright. Look how many flowers we're getting out of this and I haven't washed it. I'm gonna keep going. You keep that nice thin layer on there, you can get a lot of these guys. Oh, I should put a flower on the bunny's ear. Nah, that would be cute though. I'm not going to do that though. Alright, let's get some more. I'm going to keep going. That looks super adorable with these flowers. I love it. All the pretty colors in this project tonight. So nice. Okay, let's get a few more over here. Oops, I need more chalk. There we go. 
All right, I think I'm just about done. I think we've got a pretty good amount of flower action going on here. I kind of like them close together. That looks really cute, but I don't want to hit that because it might be wet. All right, I think we're good. I'm going to leave well enough alone. I think we've been on long enough tonight. I don't usually like to go very long, but I kind of couldn't stop myself tonight with this one. I'm super cute. I still feel like I want something else though. I just don't know what. I feel like I need something above the bunnies maybe. I'm not sure. I love the wreath though. I'm very happy with the wreath. Super cute project tonight, guys. I love it. All right, let's get these together, and I'm going to bring in my bucket. Remember I told you guys what a hot mess express my bucket is tonight? We're going to go through it. Look, I was not kidding you. I actually managed to get the whole rustic wreath shoved in there. So remember what I said? Once you start getting the back of it, um, this is going to be probably a two towel night, so let me grab another towel. I'm going to show you. Because you want to be making sure that you're taking good care of your transfers, right? You want to make sure that you can use them again and again and again. And all of these transfers are actually transfers that I have used so many times. I mean, so, so many times. So, um, obviously, Chocotour, we only guarantee eight to 12 times, but I'm here to tell you, so long as you're cleaning them, taking care of them, getting them back onto a carrier sheet, whether it be the original carrier sheet that it came with, or if you purchase the backer carrier sheets that come in a full sheet, then you can just um, attach all of your transfers to one sheet, whichever way you want. So long as you're taking care of them and you're not using them like on untreated wood, for example, you're gonna get um, a lot of uses out of your transfers. So I am actually just using our um, board eraser, which is pretty much like a lot that Chocotour offers, it has multi-purposes. So this board eraser is perfect for cleaning your transfers, getting all of that chalk out of the silk screen. So we do front and back of our pieces. And it is also perfect for, I don't know if you guys have ever worked with chalk before, but when you do and you have, um, chalk on a chalkboard, it sometimes will leave ghosting. So this is perfect to get any of the ghosting off of your chalkboard. They come in a two pack, so it's perfect. I put one in my bucket so that it cleans my transfers and the other one I keep in my little case and I use it in case I have a chalkboard that has some ghosting. And I'll just spritz a little bit of water onto it and then, um, and then use it on my board. So remember how I said that it's not sticky once you get it in here. Some of this did stick a little bit because the back of it wasn't quite wet because it is a very big transfer. Let me try to get some of these other pieces out of the way here. But once you get the back of it, it's really not sticky anymore. See what I mean? It's not sticky at all. But once you clean it and you set it off to the side to dry, the stickiness will come back. So that's why when I threw it in here into my bucket, once it got wet, it's not going to stick to itself and it's, they're not going to stick to each other. You can't throw them in though when they're not fully wet because then yeah, they will stick. So you just need to make sure that the, the sticky part of the transfer is good and wet when you start like throwing a bunch of things in. So that's, we're almost, I think I'm almost at the point of getting all the little pieces out of here and then we can work on getting that big rustic wreath out of here. And it's nice too because if you get your things into water right away, the water does a lot of the work for you. You see I'm barely having to scrub any of this. All the chalk is kind of coming right off because it's been soaking. So that's perfect. And boy did I use a lot of squeegees tonight. Goodness gracious. That was fun though, that was a fun project. Very colorful, very springy, much needed. All right, I think I'm finally, oh, almost, I spoke too soon. I've got a few more little accessories here. Let's get these guys cleaned off and then we can get our big rustic wreath out of here. And I can show you guys how to clean that. All righty, and then I think I've got two starry sticks and that should be it. 
Okay. So, as I mentioned, I threw it in here with the chalk side down. Some of it did stick a little bit because it wasn't completely submerged, but just take your time and pull it apart. No worries. And then I'm literally just going to rub my sponge right along and get all of that wild berry. You'll notice that it does have green stained on here. That was from a project that I did before, but you saw that even with the green chalk paste stained on the transfer, it still went through the silk screen and the wild berry had no problems getting through. So that is pretty much all you need to do. Once that's cleaned off, I'm just going to put that, I've got another towel all the way over and we'll let that sit. I think we've got everything, whoops, I feel something in there. Look at the pretty color it made, it almost matches my shirt. Alright, now we have everything out of there. So we can move this bucket to the side and then we've got all of our pieces sitting here. I'm just going to use this to dry off. And now all that you need to do is I just grab a paper towel and kind of speed up the drying time by just getting the excess water front and back, making sure I didn't miss any of the chalk paste, and then I leave it to dry. That is really all there is to it. And then I'll let those dry for a hot second and then I'll show you how to return them to their carrier sheet. Oh gosh, you know what I just thought? This is gonna be a fun mixing and matching game. Um, the bunny layers, I did label bunnies, so I know which ones go to the bunnies. But these little pieces are going to be a mixing and matching game because I just wrote bees on the back. That one I forgot to write a B. You can see, though, that's the shiny side and that's the paper side. So we need to get... I wasn't kidding when I said I never used that one before. We need to get a B on the paper side. So then it just becomes a mixing and matching game. Um, to get your carrier sheets back onto the transfer. But I'll show you this, this little guy right here since he's almost dry. So I usually just take the um, side that has the B on it because that's the shiny side. So shiny side meets the sticky side. So then I just kind of try to match it up on my towel and then I press down. And we are on. Now we can use that one again and again. So that is it. That was our super fun project tonight. I'll bring it back in one more time for you guys to see. <sighs> I got still a little chalk bookies on here. But perfectly dry. Can run my hands all over this. No worries at all. And this will be on our board until after Easter when I decide to take it off and then just wash it with a little bit of water. I'll just spray my water all over it, let it sit for a few minutes, let the water always do the work for you. So let the water sit on there for a little bit and then paper towel it right off and then we can uh, love our next project afterward. So how fun, love it. Thanks so much guys, that was a marathon one tonight. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. And um, if you enjoyed what you saw tonight, I would be so happy if you hit the share button down in the bottom left hand corner of your mobile device. That would mean so much to me and I really appreciate that. Um, so take care guys, have a fantastic rest of your evening, be safe and I will chat with you later, bye.